so tall. I am mighty from this angle, mighty. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how to overload the entire system with one exercise. So that way the other exercises that you're doing, even if you're doing lighter weight, will give you greater benefit. In this workout in the garage, I'm gonna be training some chest and back and a little bit of traps. Sometimes I classify traps as shoulder work or back work. It's really up to you how you wanna classify it, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing a workout first in the garage, and then what I'll do is I'll be taking a break, and then I will be going to Murph's gym in Chilliwack and finishing off my workout and doing some other body parts there. So. First thing first, I decided to make this video because of a question that was uh, posed to me from a subscriber. And he was asking about doing heavy squats. Should he do it on a Smith machine or should he do it on a, a you know, free weight squat even though it hurts his back or should he be doing something different and the whole point of it is really should he have to stick to one of the heavy three lifts, you know, one of the big three, bench press, squat or deadlift. Now. The thing that I've learned along the way is that you can get away with doing a lot of different exercises to build muscle. But one thing that I've really learned over and over and over again is that there has to be one exercise that you do that stimulates the entire system, where you put a lot of weight on the entire body because as a natural bodybuilder, you need to send signals to the body so that it is told to secrete testosterone, your growth hormone levels, all these types of things. And putting that heavy weight on the system will tell the body that it needs to grow. It needs to become anabolic, not catabolic. It needs to really grow some muscle in order to survive in the environment that you're putting it in. So on that note, the exercise that I chose throughout my bodybuilding career to put massive amounts of weight on my back was squats. Now for you, it might be deadlift or it might be just shrugs. The thing is, in my opinion, I don't think range of motion even matters. It's more about just putting on a massive amount of weight on the entire body or on the entire system. Now, the thing is, I guess I'm gonna teach you exactly how I learned this. I used to see unnatural bodybuilders in the gym all the time and I'd see natural bodybuilders and the difference between the unnatural and the natural were the natural guys couldn't get away with just doing light weights uh, with just a bunch of isolation exercises to grow muscles. They just couldn't get away with it. Whereas the guys that were unnatural, uh, they could do whatever, like leg extensions and grow quads. Like they didn't have the same rules that were in effect. A natural guy had to stimulate the entire system by overloading it with a massive amount of weight or something. And then from there, he could go do the isolation movements and start growing some muscle. So there seemed to be this, this different level of rules that they were accountable to. So I, I see this, I watch some of the pro bodybuilders once in a while, their YouTube channels and things, and just see how they make videos and, and what they're up to and things. And, and you will notice this, some of the pro guys, they can get away with doing, you know, some cable movements or just some light stuff. And then they grow these massive muscles. But as a natural bodybuilder, in my opinion, and in my experience, I've noticed that most people cannot get away with that. You have to put massive amounts of weight on your body at least through one or two exercises. And then the other exercises, you can get away with doing just higher reps or lighter weight. And, and again, I'm also saying you only have to go heavy once in a while. It's not all the time. But what I'm saying is when you put that heavy weight on the body, it actually sends that message to grow. So now when you're repping out with the other rep ranges and the other exercises, then your body has a greater tendency to grow muscle. That was my second set. I didn't uh, record in the first set but it's about 15 or 16 reps there in the second set. So yeah, it feels a lot easier once you just handle the weight more often because I don't go heavy on bent over rows that often because I didn't have wrist traps with me, but now that I'm using wrist traps, it's a lot easier to use the weight, right? But the fact is, is that if you just handle weight more often, you can actually get stronger.
there are three different exercises that I'm using in order to put this weight on my entire body, and that is bent over rows, as you can see here, shrugs as well, because shrugs are a small movement, limited range of motion, so I can use a lot of weight, and squats. And I notice I'm getting a lot of results from this. I'm really feeling a good pump everywhere, not just in the exercise itself. I feel like Ronnie Coleman, I'm sweating so bad. So that was my chest, back, and shoulder workout, although it's only part of it really. So I am finished my chest, but I did some heavy bent over rows and some heavy shrugs, so that's part of my back as well as shoulders. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off some shoulders in shellac at the gym when I go do some errands. i got to go pick up some meat and stuff. So what I'm going to do is some shoulder presses there, and I'm also going to do some lat pull downs. And I may throw in a little bit of arms or something or some calves or whatever, but we'll see how I feel. But the bottom line is, is that I wanted to get that heavy weight out of the way first and I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of benefit from high frequency training and doing the heavy lifts and just putting a lot of heavy weight on my back. Yesterday I did four plates for squats and stuff, so I'm basically going through a strength phase or going through a heavier weight phase. That doesn't mean I won't be repping out from time to time, but the thing is, is that I'm trying to concentrate on growing strength in the major lifts or putting a lot of weight on the skeletal muscular system to cause the whole body to adapt. So then when I'm doing high reps of biceps, I'm getting more of a benefit because my body is already in the strength building phase and the muscle mass building phase because it's trying to adapt to that other stimulus, right? So uh, then the high reps and stuff help pump blood in areas to make sure everything starts to even out. But the bottom line is, is I find that sometimes when I do heavy weight, the next day I feel more pumped and more full everywhere in the body, not just in the body part that I train. So I have noticed that sometimes if you're doing the heavy compound lifts, it's much a much different experience than if you're just doing the small lifts like say you're just doing bicep curls But you're never actually doing the heavy weight on the musculoskeletal system You'll find that you won't get the same benefit from those bicep curls as if you're doing the heavy shrugs deadlifts or squats Or putting a lot of weight on the spine because that stimulates the overall endocrine system as well as everything else in your body to grow All right, okay, so that's enough about that. Let's go to chill I'll see you there Antioxidants in here and stuff are good before you do uh, muscular damage to yourself or train or anything, so sometimes I like to have carbs like this. A prep or a contest prep or something like that, I will have a lower amount of berries or carbs of any kind, but blueberries were one of the carbs that I would have uh, at certain times, just because I, I noticed that my blood sugar was pretty stable and I didn't put on any body fat and I didn't retain water from them either, so uh, although it doesn't give you a license to eat as much as you want, at the same time, if you're on more of a bulk or if you're on more of a just training to, to gain muscle, you're not worried about losing too much body fat, I would say go nuts on the berries. Berries are good. Well, I just got out of my car. I'm here in Chilliwack, and I just noticed something. And I can only say one thing. Well played, Mr. Crow. Well played. What a shot. Seriously, that crow should be in the Olympics. Like, that's a pretty talented bird to be able to. It's almost like right in the middle of my license plate. It's pretty good. R pretty good, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Even if a human could do that, I'd be impressed.
Hey, there you go. What, I, what I'm doing is I'm getting people sending clips of themselves dancing to one of my music tracks. I didn't know about so that. So I can put it in a video. I, well, that's because you're not watching my channel. He's already signed up. And that's kind of the problem. <laughs> um, See? I, I think that's the problem. I just I just found out you're guilty of not watching the videos, which is fine. But you can still sign up anyway. You know? I, okay. You know, and, and you too. I mean, you're not you're not exonerated from this responsibility either. I mean, you could be in the YouTube videos too, right? Oh, okay. Dancing up a storm in a public place or something. I do watch your stuff. See? I'm just not up to date. I'm that. just not up to date right now. Well, yeah, you just got you just don't think it's. Well, my shit, my shit's not relevant. That's why I don't watch it. It's fine. It's okay. But you can still be in the dance video. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm training pretty light right here. I'm just sticking to 135 and just repping out with the shoulder press. And you guys know that I can get 20 to 40 something reps with this weight, right? So uh, with my constant tension reps. And the fact is, is that you don't have to go heavy with every single exercise. So I got the heavy stuff out of the way earlier in the day. And, and that doesn't mean you have to go heavy every day, but I'm just saying today I got the heavy stuff out of the way and my body's already stimulated. And now when I pump with the reps with the other body parts, it seems like they just respond so much better just because the entire system is stimulated in order to grow. So that's kind of how it works. It's like you flip a switch in the body by putting that heavy weight on your system. And then from there, when you're repping out with the other body parts, you actually still grow those areas. So I went from shoulders to skull crushers and what I'm doing is just the same thing I was doing the other day, the same technique. I'm doing as many reps as I can do with my elbows pointing towards the ceiling. Then what I'm doing is I'm bringing my elbows back and stretching that long head of the tricep and doing as many reps as I can do. And then I may finish off with some close grip bench press with the dumbbells in order to get that extra pump in the triceps just to get that extra failure, right? Because you can get a few extra reps sometimes when you can't get any more extension reps, you can get a few more push reps. And that really pushes those triceps deeper into failure. I checked out there for a little bit. I was just too busy dancing to the beat. I was just dancing to the background, just having a good time. And that reminds me, any of you guys that haven't uh, signed up for the dance contest, seriously, step forward, man. Don't be a, don't be a coward. 
Don't be a coward like those other guys I showed you on the, on the bench press over there. They were just being cowards. Anyway, you can see here that I'm overextending that long head of the tricep on purpose. See, I'm overextending that puppy because I want to stretch that thing out and then get that extreme pump. And then I'm just repping out here with the little close grip. And notice how the dumbbells are tilted inwards. That helps keep the tension on the triceps and keep it off the chest, right? So that's why I look pretty uncoordinated at the end because my triceps are just totally dead. So I've lost all coordination in them. So that's really how deep into failure you want to go with the triceps. You really want to push them so that there's absolutely no coordination left. So uh, make sure the dumbbell's not above your head when it gets to that point. I decided to finish off with some lat pull downs because it felt like my back needed a stretching exercise to go with all the rolling stuff that I did. And of course, I did stretch the traps out with the shrugs, but my lats weren't getting a stretch, of course. So it always feels good to have a stretching movement, uh, especially with back type stuff. I find it really feels good to stretch those lats out and to stretch the spine out, stretch the traps, stretch the rhomboids, you know, all these different muscles that are in the back. It feels good to stretch them out and pump some blood in there and uh, that really helps you get that V. So in a way, I'm doing almost a pump and stretch principle where I pump the back up and now I'm stretching it out to get that extra growth in there. So I know it's a little bit of a delay in between both workouts, but the principle is still the same. I'm so tall. I am mighty from this angle. Mighty. So I came to Merce and I did some back and I did a little bit of shoulders and a little bit of triceps. So I got that done. I just wanted to get a little bit of a pump there, finish it off, get a good stretch. I'm a little bit worn out from the earlier workout, but that's kind of the fun, right? It's, it's like I like to frequently pound the body and then when it feels like I've got to the cusp of my recovery capability, then I want to take a day off and then I'll take a day off, right? So. Uh, you have to feel your way through these things. There's no one person that could tell you exactly the formula for each person, but I've been doing this for a long time, so this is the formula that seems to work for me. I find frequent training and eating, sleeping, that seems to work the best because I'm constantly reminded the body needs to adapt. I just have to be careful not to put the volume too high because if the volume's too high, then of course you get into overtraining, right? So um, the other thing is too, you might want to back off on the intensity a little bit as far as how much weight you're using. Uh, in certain lifts, but ultimately what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to put as much weight on my spine as possible and then do some frequent lighter workouts from time to time. So you're not going to see me squat four plates every single day, but I may squat four plates and then do some frequent arm training or some frequent shoulder training or some of the lighter type uh, smaller body parts I may do some frequent stuff with, right? Or I may do legs again, but I may do a lighter workout for legs if I'm going to do legs two days in a row or three days in a row. So I hope this video helped you out. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com. And if you want to support this channel, just go to Patreon and you could uh, choose to donate to this channel so I can make more content for you. And thanks a lot for watching and take care for now. Share my stuff.